Monster Cyclone. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Film Jackets, Jack Torrance Jacket. So, already, it is very soft, it's very good quality, but if you're expecting what it shows exactly in the picture, you're going to be kind of disappointed. Um, I got this as a graduation gift. Um, but already in the photo, I might get the light on it so you can see it better. There you go. But uh, already, the buttons doesn't doesn't look like exactly look like it did in the picture. They're huge and clear. In the picture, it shows they're small and red. Like other than that, it's really good quality. Other than the buttons, it's really nice. And yeah, there's the tag. The sleeves, they don't, they don't get tight. They don't tighten around your your wrist like it did in the film, or like it showed in the picture. So there's there's a kind of a long story with this. With the company, uh, so on my first or on the other one, I found a tear right here. And I wanted a, a refund, but they asked if they could send another one because they didn't, because uh, they didn't really do refunds. So I said sure, and so I I fixed the the stitching. All right, um, I I gave the first one to my grandmother to. Uh, alter for me, so I picked out the right buttons, and uh, I pointed out where the stitching problem was, and right now I'm getting, uh, I'm getting it fixed, which, she's, she's very, very, very good with sewing, she's made, like, costumes, quilts, so, um, just, uh, you know, just something nice she, she wanted to do. So yeah, do I recommend this? Uh, yes, uh, I do. If you're not like completely like a sucker for like movie accuracy, like dead on movie accuracy, then then yeah, I I recommend this. But if you're like very like if you're wanting every cent worth of your purchase, then I wouldn't really recommend this, um, but if you know someone that's really good at sewing like I do, you can have them uh, alter yours like I'm, I'm doing right now. I'm also getting the sleeves fixed, which basically what I'm doing is I'm moving this button over farther here, or I'm adding a button right there so that it I can bring this part right over there so it actually tightened around my wrist. There's also some Jack Torrance boots right there. That's what I plan on being for Halloween this year. If there is a Halloween, wait no, hold on. Okay, I'm back. But like I said, if there is a Halloween this year, like with the whole coronavirus or COVID-19 thing, I'm not sure there will be, which would be very sad because I like going out on Halloween and, you know, only time I really get to show off my creativity when it comes to costumes but yeah I'll leave a link in the description where you can get this jacket it's about $150 it is very good quality though <clears throat> so yeah that's pretty much it see you on the next one uh, upcoming review, or not review, uh, I, I made that, uh, it's an, another custom prop, um, I also did some shelf redesigning here, instead of having it, like, pushed all the way back out here, I pushed it in, 
through my closet. I do plan on getting another shelf because I wanted to get, there's a lot of Trick or Treat Studios masks I wanted to get that I just didn't have the room for so I had to pass them up but now that I actually am getting a new shelf and getting going to be getting the room if you're wondering why there's a wine bottle that's what I used to display uh, my masks I mean hey it works so you know it works with what you got um yeah I just basically keep all my special shirts in here like people did too there's a there's a shining shirt my MTV hoodie and Halloween that's pretty much it and up there, uh, at the interchangeable accent, it's for that up there. And got my uh, VHSs. So, got Evil Dead, Rod Reanimator. And then up here are some older NECA figures Captain Spaulding from House of a Thousand Corpses, and Jigsaw, and Billy the Puppet. 112 Clockwork Orange and 112 Out to the Large. And in there, there's just uh, too many tears and framed photo of the Torrance family and all work, no play pages up there. So, yeah. That's about it on the jacket. I'll probably show you uh, the altar the finished altar, um, altar jacket, um, in another, or in a later video, but, um, that's a bunch of masks I plan on getting, like, the, the jigsaw pig mask, they, they make that, they also make the, uh, tar man from Return of the Living Dead, the They Live alien, and, uh, a couple of Texas Chainsaw Master masks I plan on getting. But yeah, that's, uh, that's about it on the review of the jacket. I do recommend this if you're a fan of The Shining, but you know, you're not really looking for complete accuracy. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one.